Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a very exciting video. This video is about putting Apple CarPlay into any Entune Toyota from 2.0 Entune up to 2.5. So if you have a Tundra, Tacoma, RAV4, Highlander, Forerunner, whatever you got, Beat Sonic USA has made, don't get overwhelmed, this kit to provide you with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto into your OEM head unit. That is so cool and <laughs> that's freaking awesome. So all links for them will be down in the description. It is on sale right now. They are a little back ordered guys, but get your name on that list for when it comes up, you can get on this product if you do so choose. There's only two real caveats to this system. If you have any complaints or gripes, they already tell you the certain things that don't work with this system before you purchase it. The biggest things is one, you're limited to the Toyota's quality of screen. So if the CarPlay looks a little off, it's because it's a video signal going through that screen and it's almost the same quality as your backup camera. It's not the best, but it's still very, very legible when you're on Waze, Google Maps, anything like that. You can still read the street signs. It's not crisp letters and it's actually pretty good for putting CarPlay onto your OEM screen. The other thing is when you're in CarPlay mode, you just can't seek forward or back or change your songs basically on Spotify, Amazon Music, whatever your music player is. You have to actually physically touch the screen. Other than that, it runs absolutely flawless. I actually took it out of the Forerunner because I was testing it a little bit just to make sure that this video was gonna be good and it's freaking good guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I wired it up in their video. Uh, it shows you how they wired it up as well but this one may be a little different because they've since changed their harnesses so we have now the their latest and greatest harnesses. So this is your actual CarPlay box. This is your main harness right here. It's gonna plug into the one that says main. This harness right here, as you can see, I didn't mention anything about this, right? Don't worry about that. This harness right here is what legit plugs and plays into your factory head unit. So when you pull your factory head unit out and you take out this guy from the back of your head unit, this guy now at the back of your head unit is gonna plug into this guy. This in turn will then plug into your head unit. It's the same for this one and it's the same for this one. These are all different sizes, so don't worry about, oh shoot, am I gonna plug the right one into the right one? Yes, you will, because they're all different sizes. This cable that's linking this to this module, that's an HDMI cable. It's for your video, like it says right there, so only an HDMI cable plugs in there right here. This little guy right here plugs in there, and this just, you know, goes into these main harnesses. This is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So this bigger one plugs into these white and red RCA cables for your volume. Coming back to this side, this is where the smaller 3.5 millimeter headphone jack goes into. And then this right here will plug into your OEM USB cable. Now, if you want, instead of this plugging into your OEM USB cable to use in the front of your vehicle, they give you this optional one that you can run to put like, let's say in your center console or anything like that. So you could run this extra long one, just plug it in right here instead and run that to wherever you wanna put it in your car. They give you the instructions. It was very, very simple. What I just went over is there in pictures for you guys. Definitely make sure you obviously undo your battery before messing with this because you don't wanna fry any of these components. Right here, uh, they may ask you when you order it, your stereo model number, so mine was a Panasonic radio. And then this box right here was already pre-configured with those, with those dip switches, so I didn't need to worry about that. And then the only other thing was to get to this volume setting right here that it says in your instructions, guys. That little button is right in there that you kind of have to get to with a toothpick. Now, to get to that button and hold it, uh, the system has to say system ready and then that's how this option comes up here but they say all of that in the instructions it's very very good if you have any issues with troubleshooting like a blank screen uh, my backup camera was not working when i first put it in but it says hey 
undo the battery for 10 minutes I, or five minutes i undid the battery for five minutes and guess what it came back on let's go ahead and get this thing installed and i'll show you guys kind of where i tucked it away in the forerunner if you have a tacoma tundra highlander rav4 anything like that old camry it's going to be different like how you uh store it basically in there but just find some space and if you don't need to undo wires i noticed uh when i first did this if you don't need to undo wires don't undo them so this right here because where it goes in the forerunner i'm gonna get this all nice and tight so these can stack nicely next to each other but let's go ahead and get it installed and i'll show you what i did my radio is out right now so if you follow where that silver bar is for your forerunner i kind of just set these back up in there connected it all first and then brought the harness out which this harness is very long you can see how i wrapped it up brought the harness out and this is all plug and play like i stated the beat sonic harness is gonna plug into the OEM harness. So this is your OEM harness right here. And then the Beat Sonic portion is gonna plug into your head unit. And that is where I secure the two modules back there. And then this one right here, this gray guy, that is your USB, you plug into your stock USB port on the Forerunner. And there it is all tucked in back under there. None of these wires are touching or chafing. So it is kind of hard to get it into that area, but I mean, again, this is universal, so uh, that is the spot that I found best for the Forerunner. These aren't lining up, uh, and that's not that's not Beat Sonic's fault. I had to take this out for the original T8 head unit that I did, and they just never lined up properly. But I do have the 10 millimeter right here, and over on this side. And I mean, it's it's rock solid. It's not coming out. And the AC vent will also go in as well, and it won't touch any of this. And that's pretty uh, solid back there. This isn't really moving at all. Okay, so here it is, all installed. Looks very OEM obviously because everything as you saw is tucked in the very very back but your radio functions as radio everything over here works when you're in radio mode cd whatever you're in up down seek everything still works so and then when you want your android auto or your apple carplay all you do is just plug your usb into the stock spot right there Go ahead and grab your phone, plug it in, starts going, it recognizes CarPlay. And then the last step that you have to do is go to audio, press aux, and it'll swap over. Now in order to get out of this, you just press your power button twice in a medium fashion. So one, two and it'll go back to your normal screen. So you could do all your home stuff from here if you just wanna to listen to the radio, do anything like that, it'll work. Then when you wanna go back to your Apple CarPlay, one, two, it'll go back to Apple CarPlay. So the reason you have to have it on the aux is so Siri will work in everything. So, so you can ask it questions and she'll start talking to you. In your messages, you could send messages with it, phone Who call. Who do you wanna call? Ghostbusters. No. <laughs> so everything will come up as that. It's very responsive. Even though that it is your smaller screen, everything works very, very well. And it's very quick, actually. So you can go into your music. The only thing that stinks is turning it up. Turning it up, you don't see it on this indicator. And they mention that on their website. So any, any quote-unquote flaws that the system has, they mention it on their website. So volume does not show up on this and then since you are going through that aux spot if you press these to seek it does not seek the only steering wheel controls that do work are these ones right here when a phone call is coming in so you can uh, pick up an answer from right here but when you're in the car play all you have to do to select you know another song is just press next and then ways and all that stuff works as well so i'm going to click on ways the video is going to jump it's because it shows where i live so so ways works as advertised at night the screen looks a little uh i have my lights on right now and this is turned all the way up so at night it's kind of a little more gray setting so if you turn up your brightness all the way then the darks are going to get darker and the icons are going to have more contrast so it does work very very well Send new message. Who do you want to send it to? My wife. What do you want to say? Hey, what's up? 
your message to Purple Heart. Dave's ring says hey, what's up? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So, it, oh, and now it's gone. So everything works very, very well, guys. Um, and for it being a small screen, it doesn't uh, really matter because even like going into ways, the fact that it's a small screen, it works. It, it works amazingly well. So. Again, a very, very cool system by Beat Sonic USA. I will leave a link for everything, as always, down in the description, and I will also have a week-long update for this. And this is probably going to stay in the car for a while because it's been performing very very well the only cons like i said is the screen quality which that's freaking toyota's fault and just seek and forward those don't work because it's technically going through the aux jack to bring it up but you're close enough to your screen when you're on spotify or something just to press next so other than those two little flaws and one of them is being toyota anyways I've had no issues in the three days that I've been testing it. So again, a week long video will come out for you guys and following updates after that as well. So if you guys are new around here and this video really, really helped you out, subscribe and give it a like and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.